The Barista's Love Song. Ah. <laughs> when Quentin Tarantino buys the rights to my life, these moments will be left to the cutting room floor. Monday through Friday, I clock into this failed romantic comedy starring a gay barista with wonderful hair, who obsessively checks blank napkins for phone numbers. I fall in love faster than you can make a triple shot dry cappuccino with extra foam. Your entrance is perfect. Flawless backlighting and soft focus one-fifth the normal pace you swagger into the cafe. That song from Casablanca even starts playing. Okay, maybe I put it on the stereo, but anxiously pulling at my apron, my protection from all that is lactose, I realize that you're here for the new auditions of my new boyfriend, zooming into an extreme close of your silent film beauty, like the statue of David, but clothed. <laughs> bigger slingshot. I try to say I drop every coffee mug in the cafe just to get your attention. I need a hundred chocolate covered espresso beans just to prove to you I can commit. I try to say I'd wait in line in the movie theater in the pouring rain listening to Kelly Clarkson on repeat wearing an ugly fucking prom dress just to see our movie premiere. But somehow it sounds hi! What can I get for you today? And with words so smooth, it's clear your dialogue is written only in cursive. Uh. Triple mint mocha. I grind my entire heart with the espresso, hoping the aroma of the caffeinated, lust infused waterfall will entice you to Jake Gyllenhaal, my broke back mountain, but I don't even know if you're into that, so I ask Cole, skim, vagina. I order soy. Yes! You pay with a credit card. I repeat your name 70 times trying to memorize it. Samuel J. Cook. Samuel J. Cook. What? Like you've never Facebook stalked anyone before? To ask how you want me the first time our bodies blend to a perfect roast? Do you want any whipped cream? Where? <laughs> I ask if you love me forever for here to go. And with the hum of your cardboard sleeve and the click of your paper cup lid, I feel our credits begin to roll. I try to say, I can see them put our names on the marquee. Have a good day. You walk away, somehow slower than when you walked in. Maybe you just have a slow walking problem. With my shoulders slumped, but my face still catching the light, I hobble back towards the stereo, start blaring Beyonce and throw a coffee mug at the player, blue eyes in the corner, because this barista is an independent woman, and these auditions are open all week. Next! Woo!